Earthbed. What really is SOS? Good day, learners. This is Earth Pen. We often see the word SOS in movies, such as a shipwreck scene, perhaps. But what really is the meaning of SOS? Together, let's find out the message behind the word SOS. Are you somehow familiar with Morse codes? Let's have a background check first. Way back in the year 1835, Samuel Morse developed a code using dots and dashes with the use of sending electric pulses. These codes signify letters of the alphabet and are used to communicate messages such as a call for distress. One of the first used distress calls are NC for Italy which means May Day or Help Me in French an international radio emergency called SSSDD in Italy and England adopting the CQD which means general notice for distress. But did you know that having multiple distress signals for communication is potentially dangerous? Like a ship in foreign waters for example, how will they be able to ask for helps when they're in distress? if there is a possible language barrier between them and their rescuers. The rescue operation will be much difficult and so they needed a universal distress code and a mode of communication that is fit for long distance communication instead of being merely limited to those within the range of sight. This came up the usage of SOS. You may now think that the word SOS is an abbreviation for Save Our Ship or Save Our Souls. It is not. In fact, it is a continuous Morse code composed of a string of three dots, three dashes, and another three dots all run together with no spaces in between. According to the International Morse Code, the three dots form a letter S while the three dashes form a letter O. Hence, the implementation of the word SOS for the sake of convenience. The utilization of SOS as a universal call of distress was ratified at the 1906 Radio Telegraph Conference and was then put into use in the year 1908. Its first usage was documented in the U.S. when the SS Arapaho lost power in the graveyard of the Atlantic near Diamond Shoals in August of 1909. Luckily, the ship and the crew were successfully rescued. However, in the present time, the use of SOS was not limited to having telegraphs as medium anymore. It could be through the use of other signals such as long and short bursts of light from a flashlight or the glint of sun of a mirror that have been used by those who are trapped on mountains to call for aid. It can even be just a visual call for distress too, such as large printed letters written on the sand that can be seen right from above. To summarize things up, SOS is made to easily relay a message or signal that can be easily recognized. That is why it is considered for universal usage and has saved and helped millions of lives that are at stake already and required immediate assistance. And that is all for now. I hope you learned something from us today. Once again, this is EarthPen. Learning has never been this easy for anyone, anywhere. Have a nice day!